23 ABC's Ken Masenshi speaking with the family of the victim, and they're asking for the, for the community's help in answering those questions that still linger tonight. Ken. Yeah, Tim and Jackie, good evening. That coroner's report released today gave the family of 23 year old Danielle Carlin confirmation on how she died in April on this property here in that pink shed right behind me. But the question of who killed Carlin remains unanswered. I cry all the time. Two and a half months ago, Tamara Carlin lost her sister Danielle. It's crazy that somebody could do something like that. I wish I could go back and help her in camps. Danielle died after the shed she was living in on Beardsley Avenue caught fire early in the morning. The coroner's report released today says thermal burns and smoke inhalation are the cause. She was burned to death. Why the shed and mobile home next to it went up in flames is still unknown, but the case is being investigated as a homicide. She had a whole future ahead of her. I just, I just don't understand how people can be so cruel and do something like that. I wish they turned themselves in. It's hard not knowing. I mean, it's just that person that took our sister's life is still out there living their life perfectly fine and nobody knows anything. They could be your neighbor and nobody knows. Tamara says two suspects have been questioned, but passed the lie detector test, leaving the family asking for the community's help. The sheriff's office can't confirm that, but say it's still an active investigation. If you know something, if, if you could please just come forward. Even if it's a little bit, you know, even if it's a he said, she said, it's still something. And Even if you think it's nothing, the littlest thing might be something. Something that can give the family some closure two and a half months later. We're planning on trying to get her funeral set up and get her buried and basically let her rest in peace, you know? And you can see a large memorial still set up for Danielle here on that property. And again, the sheriff's office says the homicide investigation is still ongoing. And Kern County Fire says their investigation into the cause of that fire is open as well. Live from Oildale, Ken Masenchi, 23 ABC.